My name is Glenn Jorgensen. I'm an engineer from Denmark. Uh, I'm actually born in Canada. And I have, uh, for the last, uh, since 2012, uh, been um, working on the Smolensk case, uh, investigating, first as volunteer, and now uh, formally part of the new Polish Commission. Um, and as such, I will not go into detail with this, because uh, um, as crash investigator, I am taking a, a sec my second Master of Science within crash investigation, and as crash investigator, we should be very open-minded to any uh, hypothesis and test this using scientific methods. And uh, therefore, I will not comment uh, anything that we are ongoing. I would, however, like to say and stress that the Russian version, which was copied by the Poles, the previous Polish government, had the dictate, they dictated their investigators to come up with the same conclusion as the Russians, and I can say with no doubt that the Russian version is against the laws of physics in many ways. Now, after I started to uh, work in this area, uh, I have uh, experienced on my own body the uh, uh, issues explained by, by the Spanish delegation, where uh, there has been a refute of, uh, and not only me, but the whole commission has experienced this, where they will attack... Uh, people personally and never discuss the issues. And uh, this was the uh, idea of uh, my presentation here would be to uh, talk about what happens when watchdogs, uh, which the journalists uh, should be, uh, when they turn to were werewolves, when they start uh, prostituting themselves. Um, and listening to the many uh, interesting um, contributions here today, I, I, I want to change this uh, because really it's not a question of defamation of uh, me or the commission as individuals, but what is even more serious is what is happening now, for instance, with uh, Poland, the defamation of the whole country. Um, in Denmark, we have a fairly free press, but uh, we have recently experienced uh, how the, the, the forces are working together. We see cross borders that um, articles published and paid uh, most likely from Polish uh, interests, published in Denmark uh, with, with uh, lies. I'm running a case in Denmark now for the, at the press council, but such articles are now brought back into Poland and they are quoted that uh, Danish media are writing this or that. Um, so just to show you an example of how this snowball is uh, crossing borders. Uh, if we uh, have a look at the Polish uh, situation, I think it's very important that uh, people who do not know uh, much about Polish history, and I have to admit, in the schools in Denmark, we didn't learn much about this. I see the number one problem in Poland, the modern Poland, is hardly ever talked about in any media. And that the number one problem is the network that still exists is the era from the communist time, uh, a network of collaborating uh, people and uh, the children of the ancestors of these agents that were active uh, before 89. Uh, they are still active and they are expanding their uh, powers. Uh, the, the, the problem is that Poland never, as many other countries, cleaned out their dirty laundry when they went from communism. And this was, uh, they tried, a couple of governments tried, and every time it was stopped. Uh, one time was stopped by Lech Walesa. Uh, he uh, pulled out his own government the night before. Uh, the, the, they were going to publish a list of collaborators sitting in high positions in Polish society, some of them even sitting there today. Um, so th there's a big need for... for uh, cleaning out the Polish society from this network. So for me, it's not a question of left or right in the political spectrum. I think we have to uh, judge people by, are they, if they are a politician, are they acting to serve the common interest or are they acting to serve their own interests? Uh, and you will see people on both sides of the political spectrum who will uh, try to grab money for themselves and such people uh, cannot be tolerated in a democracy. 
These people are existing among judges. Huge problem in Poland today is the, the, the they have 10,000 judges in Poland. This is uh, one judge for every 3,000 people. In Denmark, we have 375 judges in total. And this is for 5 million, so this is like uh, one for 15,000. The judges, uh, they are amongst the people in Poland, the, the group in Poland who have the, less, uh, credi the, the least credibility uh, and for good reasons. Uh, we hear, and through Eva's work, we hear of examples of judges working together with tax people, working together with the Secret Service, pulling businessmen out and uh, asking for money under the table and if they will not give this, they will be put to jail. They come out of jail, the whole factory is destroyed, their factory, even wires pulled out of the walls. This is the Poland of today and this needs to be, something needs to be done about this. So when, when Poland is under attack, much of this comes from people who, who are afraid that they will lose the, the, the privileges that their families have had for generations. And of course they are screaming, but these are not the people that Europe should listen to. They should dig be beyond this, and it's not a question about being liberal or being conservative. This is a question about are you serving your country or are you serving yourself? When the previous government ruled, the elections, and this is also secret in Europe, Elections in Poland were frauded big time. In 2014, just to give an example, and this is taken from the numbers published by the previous, uh, by the previous government on their homepage. There were 18, this is nearly 20% invalid votes in Poland, in average. I, I, I think this is election that is in category you would expect from Somalia. In Denmark we have one to 2% at the max. So they have 10 times more people here in Poland, according to this, that do not know that they should only put one mark on the, on the ballot. In 2012, in 2012, Donald Tusk's government uh, passed a law that made it difficult to investigate the increasing number of invalid uh, ballots. Some districts had 120,000 more ballots than voters. Not one word was said. Some districts had 40% invalid votes. Nobody knew. I asked the foreign minister in Denmark just after the elections, and he was shocked by this. This knowledge doesn't come out. The, 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 the European media are silent about this. And uh, now, as soon as the new government comes in and tries to, in my opinion, clean out in some of this uh, network, and the people in this network are screaming up, now, all the media in Poland are very concerned about, uh, in Poland and abroad, concerned about um, the democracy, the state of democracy. These were the people who said nothing during these frauded elections. So, uh, even they have the nerve to say that the government uh, is uh, acting in an undemocratic way and to uh, follow up on your uh, um, uh, sense that uh, when, the uh, when the words lose their meaning, the, the, the people lose their freedom because they are turning these words upside down by giving the false impression. Another thing, yesterday was the huge independent march. This is a big celebration for all Poles and this is normally very peaceful uh, on some media, especially in Germany recently, Last years, you've seen they would show uh, they would show like uh, 20 people, and one of them. This is maybe old picture. They would show as if this was a Nazi uh, or some uh, right wing movement. Here are here are 100,000 Polish people, mothers, fathers, grandmothers, uh, walking peacefully to celebrate, and this is the, the, they're giving the total different uh, view of this. But what is even worse that the Facebook and Twitter in Poland, they have uh, put the censorship, even you wanted to have the, the group where you could walk together during this peaceful uh, Independence Day, they've been censored in, in Poland.
this is big disgrace. And these are people who are saying that they're fighting for democracy. Okay, so I am reaching my time limit. And uh, um, I think this would cover, I, I would put onto the homepage, the, the, if any of you are interested and have heard about the, uh, the case of the tribunal, constitution, the, the judges behind this tribunal, uh, they, they, you will find facts about this uh, on Voice Free Europe. So I encourage you to, to, to go there and, and get some uh, independent information because the story that you are told is far from reality. Thank you very much.